Happy Friday, and welcome back to How to AMP. Web content is the most instantly shareable content in the world. We can shout from the rooftops of Twitter or send direct messages over SMS or chat apps. To encourage information inclusion, sites add social share buttons. And today, I'm going to show you how to do it in AMP with my hiking blog. I want to make it really easy for my readers to share my hikes with their friends. And maybe I'll get some additional readers along the way. Luckily, AMP makes this very easy with the AMP social share component. Like most AMP components, I need to import the script. So I'll do that first. Next, I'll add an AMP social share element. And the validator is complaining. That's because we haven't added the mandatory attribute type. Type is how we specify what platform to share to. I'll start with Twitter. And just like that, the component creates a button with the Twitter logo. Let's see what happens when I click it. Immediately, without any other configurations, I'm able to share this page on my Twitter feed. This component also allows for a lot of customization. In my CSS, I'll add AMP social share, then specify the type as Twitter. Then I'll change something like the background color, the logo, and maybe round out those corners too. Now it matches my blog's aesthetic, if you can call this an aesthetic. The AMP social share component comes with an extensive list of pre-configured providers, such as email, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, SMS, Facebook, and many others. And if there's a platform you want to share to not in the list, AMP social share allows you to add a custom one. All of this is super fantastic, but my favorite feature from this component is the ability to use the web share API, which triggers an OS share dialog. As of today, this API is supported on Chrome for Android and Safari for iOS. So a lot of devices. I'll add it in by specifying the type as system. However, the button doesn't appear on my desktop screen. Well, this is because it's for mobile. If I host the site on my phone and enable remote debugging, I can simulate that mobile behavior. Aha, there it is. Unfortunately, these buttons look awful on my phone. It's very claustrophobic. Good news, when I specify the type as system, I'm given an optional attribute called data mode. And if I set its value to replace, it now hides all other options and displays the system dialog instead. And that's it for how to create great UIs with social sharing buttons. <laughs>